Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss how you can execute the test script on the remote machine using the Catalan Studio. To execute the test script on the remote machine, I am going to use the Selenium Grid. So let us discuss about the Selenium Grid first. Selenium Grid is an infrastructure that allow you to execute the test script on the remote machine with the combination of the following parameter. So you can create the environment with the combination of this parameter and select that particular environment for test execution. Selenium Grid follow the concept of client and server. Whereas the client is called as node and the server is called as hub. So that means you can start a Selenium Grid server And then you can create the client using the combination of these parameters. That means I can have a client with browser as Firefox, version as X and operating system as Linux. And I can create one more client with browser as Chrome, version Y, and the operating system as Windows. So you can create as many as client you want with the combination of these parameters. And during the runtime, you can decide on which remote machine or the client you want to execute your test script. So in order to get the Selenium grid, first we need to download the Selenium server standalone jar from the official website of the Selenium. So you can go to the official website of the Selenium and you can download the Selenium server standalone jar. This is a jar which will be used for starting the Selenium grid server as well as the Selenium grid node. So once you have downloaded the jar, just navigate to the location where that jar is present and execute this command to start the Selenium grid server. If you look at the command, we are passing the command line parameter as hub. This will tell the Selenium jar that to start the Selenium grid server. Along with that, we are passing the port number also on which this particular server should start. So this is going to start the Selenium grid server. So the second command which I'm going to use is for starting the node. And this is the command. As you can see here, for this command, we are using the same jar file, but this time the parameter value for the role we are passing as node that will tell the Selenium jar to start the node. Along with that, we are also passing some additional command line argument. So using this, we are setting the system property, which represent the location of the Chrome driver. And using this command line argument, we are specifying where the Selenium grid server is running. And using this command line argument, we are specifying that what is the IP address of machine on which the Selenium grid server is running. Because everything is getting configured inside a network, so we need to tell the node that where the hub is running. So I will use this command and execute on the remote machine. So this is my remote machine and this is going to start the node or the client. And as you can see in the console, there is a message which says that the node is registered to the hub and ready to use. Just open your browser and navigate to this URL. So localhost represent the current system and as we know that our selenium grid server is running on the port number 445 so i will use that port number and this is going to open the selenium grid hub console just click on the console and this will give information about all the nodes which are connected to this particular selenium grid server 
So once your environment is set up, you need to provide some additional configuration inside the Catalon Studio so that you can execute the script on the remote machine via Catalon Studio. So just open the Catalon Studio, navigate to Project, Settings, Desired Capabilities and select Remote. And here you need to specify the Selenium Grid Server URL. And this is how you need to specify the Selenium Grid Server URL. So localhost represent the current machine. The port number is on which our Selenium Grid Server is running. WD slash hub. And once this configuration is done, from the drop down, select the option as remote and it is going to start the execution on the remote machine. So the execution is done. So our test suite is passed. So if you want to start one more node, you can use the same command to start another node also. So let's say you want to provide some additional configuration while executing the test script on the remote machine. So these are the configuration which you can override while creating the desired capabilities. So just go to project setting, desired capabilities remote and you can specify the configuration here which you want to override. So in this manner, you can execute the test script on the remote machine using the Catalon Studio. Mm -hmm.